All right, we are live again. Uh, welcome back to Slim Comics and More. Uh, my name is Sean. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, please click that subscribe button, uh, like, and uh, leave a comment. So uh, today is New Comic Book Day. So I got some books. I went to my local LCS and got some uh, some new books and uh, went to Target and got a, a figure. So and uh, here is uh, my co-host here. Here is Rob. How you doing, Rob? Can you hear me? <laughs> you, I can't hear you. Yeah, I, I can't hear you. Is that better? Yep, that's better. I had to unmute. Said I muted it right there by accident. Anyway, how are you? great. How about yourself? Say it's New Comic Book Day, right? Yeah, it's New Comic Book Day. So uh, stop by my local LCS and pick up some books. Uh, anything? Anything good? Yeah. So so, I guess. Um, still waiting on my midtime book, so I picked up some uh, some uh, pretty good books. Um, this is a uh, here. Let me see here. This is one of the preview books. This is a DC Connect. Okay. So this one um, has like previews for August, and it looks like it's got some pretty decent stuff from DC. That's a pretty cool cover for Peacekeeper. Oh yes, yeah, great. I like it. Peacekeeper. Yeah, that's no. it looks like a new one. Is that no, what's his first what's his first appearance? Do you know what it is? Yeah, I don't know. It's like a an oldie book. I don't know. <laughs> okay. If anybody in the chat knows, let us know. <laughs> I have no clue. I, I know it's an older book, but oh, okay, I didn't know it. I thought it was something kind of new. That's why I was guessing. Well, there might be a new um modern one but um, i'm talking about the older peacekeeper i guess oh but, um, okay okay that, that's right the guy from the 60s and 70s right yeah Forgot about that. so yeah this one has a uh, previews to uh dc uh new books coming out in august or so and then, anything, uh, wor anything worth it uh, uh, we'll see i mean some of it, some of it looks pretty good then got the freebie of uh, Marvel's preview. This is for, I believe, August for October release. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all is well. Hey, Bill, how are you doing today? So I uh, went to my local LCS and picked up some books. And uh, yeah, this one has uh, Venom. That, that one looks pretty cool. Nice artwork there. So this is a preview for um, October release. Looks like Venom's out in space. I wonder where he's heading to. Venom Maybe. 1. So, oh, this is uh, Al Ewing and Rob V. So they show a preview of him like kind of out in space. Maybe he's at that planet called Clintar. You know, the one where the symbiotes are from, right? Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. And I believe this is a finale for the Immortal Hulk 50. That's and right. Forget about that. Are there any good variants? Well, got the Alex Ross there and Alex Ross cover. Let me see if there's any variants. Hey, Lisa Noble. How you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all is well. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, just picked up some books from my local LCS, uh, waiting on my midtown books. Checking out some previews. Yeah. Uh, Kang the Conqueror versus, looks like, Dr. Doom. Oh, he is incredibly popular right now. Yeah, he's, uh, all his books that has his covers from, like, the Avengers, it's, like, hot. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, yeah, let me see here. So these are previews. I mean, they look pretty good for October, October's lineup. They do. Daredevil. Daredevil is still pretty good. It looks like she's going up against, uh, I don't know if that's a new character or what. Well, I'll tell you what, Sean. Everybody thought that the Electra Daredevil would be one and done, but she's been Daredevil for a while, right? Yeah, it's been a couple months now. Or so, more than a couple months, but yeah. 
of how long it goes, who knows? But people thought it would just be like a one shot deal. One so. shot, and that's it, yeah. right? They thought it. So that you know, that first appearance is Daredevil. You know, it's still what well, should be Daredevil forever. No, no. but but the point being is she's still Daredevil right now. So that's right. all that counts, right? Yep. Uh, some of the previews for Stormbreaker looks like the next generation of elite artists. There, there's like previews to like I believe different covers. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Hey, Empire, Empire Comics, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Just, oh, uh, Empire, by the way. Um, oh, go ahead. Is he there? Next video, yeah. I think I have, I have a little uh, word for you in the next video. Thanks for uh, um, you, you'll see. Yeah, it should be up shortly, but I, I put a little shout out to you in the next video. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> this one's got Trail of Shadows. Looks like another series or something from Star Wars. Yeah. Did you get any Star Wars picked, books today? Yeah, I picked up. Uh, I picked up one. Which one did you oh. get? Uh, let's see. Let's go through. Okay, so, so this is uh, independent stuff. This is from Boom Studios. So something is killing the children. This is issue number eighteen. Hey guys, how's it going? Out there in the chat. Uh, pages films in plastic. How you doing, Angel? Nice of you to stop in. Uh, Rickard Comics. How you doing? Nice of you to stop in. So yeah, Rickard Comics is a, a fairly new channel. So go check out his channel. So uh, something is killing the children. I believe this one leads up to um, that new series, um, House of Slaughter. Now, is that a free comic book day book or what? What is that? Uh, the House of Slaughter. No, I mean, yeah. is that it, it's coming out? Is it is it going to be one? Of the, is it? I'm not sure. I, 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 I guess one I saw on free comic book day, which is coming up soon, right? I believe so. It's in August, I think. And I think uh, one of the one of the might be the House of Slaughter. I don't, I don't know. I think I saw it somewhere, but I could be wrong. I'm just guessing. Uh, did you make it to your LCS today? Uh, yes, I did. Um, not sure about Rob. Rob, did you go to your LCS or no? You better believe I did. Of course. On this day. <laughs> and a uh, shout out to Clyde has pressing issues. I ran to him there too. Um, right. we, we, we didn't do a skit or anything today. We had a good time there though. Like we always do. Uh, pages, pips, and plastic. How you doing, Angel? Hope all is well with you. Okay. Circumstances, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in, sir. Yeah, Rickard Comics. He's a fairly new channel, so go check out his channel. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's a House of Slaughter one. Yep. Uh, okay. Is it a freebie or not? That I'm not sure. Maybe it's when I saw it somewhere. I think once again, I'm probably wrong. I'm just going off what I think I saw. Hey Dave UK Comics, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Dave UK, how are you doing, sir? Jagger 101, how are you? Nice of you to stop in. Subbed up to Rickard. Okay, Rickard, you got another uh, sub. All right. So let's go to the next book. So this one here from Image Comics. This is a nice cover. This is a Bjorn Berens cover of Spawn. That is a nice cover. I like his artwork. His artwork is pretty nice. Let me see. Let me, let me, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm watching him also working my video at the same time. Yeah, that is pretty <laughs> cool. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm working. I'm it's almost done. I'm just going through the processing part and writing out the description and everything. Right. And. Oh I lost, okay. I lost, I lost my, my music. I lost my music list. I can't find it anywhere. I wrote it down. I got to look it up again. So Sorry. this is this is the next cover for three twenty one, which is actually pretty decent as well. That's the medieval it, spawn, right on the back. Yeah, looks like it. Yep. I used, I used to have that figure too. It's gone. I sold that one too. Yeah, but this one's a nice cover. So this is a three twenty. Now was I, that three ninety nine or was it more? Uh, it's. Regular price, uh, two ninety nine. Oh, two ninety nine. I thought maybe because it was a better book, they didn't no. charge more money for it. No, I like the cardstock. Uh, they've been doing the cardstock on those. Those are pretty nice. Uh, Sean, please let me know if you see Bub trying to steal my new intro. All right. Uh, yeah, go see uh, Comic Mag Musings um, in new intro. <laughs> I'll check it All out. Right. 
I, by the way, uh, I, have a new intro. I have a new intro too. All right, uh, I'll check yours out. That makes even just uh, new. Sorry, new intro music. Not this, this intro is the same. <laughs> uh, this one here. Okay. Uh, yes, it's uh, the free comic book one. Okay, free comic book day. Okay, nice. Uh, if you go to Economics and Comics website, he is selling a mini box. Okay, that includes every free copy. Oh, nice. Okay. So I guess I was right then. I thought I could have sworn I saw it somewhere. So it's a free comic book day one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Love the new cardstock. Yep. Uh, yeah, the cardstock is really nice. It's not like a flimsy paper like Marvel. Mm-hmm. Love Spawn. Yep. Spawn is awesome. Uh, Mr. ASM homage for that one. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that one. Um, I think I ordered it through Midtown, so I didn't pick it up. So, yeah, so there's a homage cover, uh, ASM. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice cover. Okay, next one. This one is um, so picked up Department of Truth. This is the sixth printing, the yellow cover. You see it again? Okay, yeah, I saw that one. You did, how much did that cost? Yeah, regular price. Yeah, all these I got for a regular price. Somebody had you could buy. I saw on eBay today. There's one left. It might be gone by now. They had a a ten pack of those for. So fifteen dollars. Well, really? Okay. Yeah, not bad. I guess it's the last. It, oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the last print. So yeah, that's it. No more. It's, it's the sixth print and the last one. Sixth print. Yeah, that's a lot of prints. Uh, that's a good one. The yellow is nice. Yeah, I, I like the yellow. It's uh, pretty nice. My LCS has had a sign saying one per oh one per customer. Oh, I went to a store. Uh, I went to two stores today. One is in. Annapolis and Arundel area. And they had, they must have had more than 100 copies, no limit. If you go online, there's actually one. I take it back. I think, I'm sorry, I take it back. It might have been $24. You can get 10, 10, 10 copies for $24, which comes out to with, ta- with shipping about two, about two dollars, under three dollars a piece. Under three dollars a piece. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a three ninety nine book. So. All right, next next book. So this is a new one. This is a um, from Image. Oh, let me blow it up. There. Okay. So I got the Art Germ Virgin variant. This is um, Sweet Paprika from uh, Merkel and Dolfo. Sweet what? Sweet Paprika. <laughs> I like that name. It's pretty pa- cool. Paprika. <laughs> and that's the bag. Yeah, it's by uh, Marco and Dolfo, right there. Sweet paprika, number one. Yep, this is a Art Germ Virgin variant. So that's what they had, and then they also have the regular, regular covers, and then there's a bunch of other um, variants also. So, but um, yeah, since they had the Virgin variant, I picked up the Virgin variant. Uh, art is not bad. Uh, art is yeah, it's um, it's written and art by Marco and Dolfo. So she did the book. Okay. And that's kind of like her art style, I guess. But yeah, not bad. Not bad she at all. Other other book. Um, what is that other book called? I forgot that other book. The one with um, the girl that looks like a pig. What's what is that book? <laughs> oh, you're talking about um, n- n- natural. Natural, yeah. She did that book. You, you actually you actually have that book? Natural, yeah. I got the um, the variant cover from you have, uh, you have all the naughty variants, right? Yeah, that naughty variant when she's a you know <laughs> riding a <the> pillow. <laughs> <laughs> so this this this, this uh, stream got kind of rated R here. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yeah, okay. Um, wait, 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 did you get to get this book here? I'll show you right. one I picked up today. Um, where is this? Here it is, right here. Okay, this is funny. This one actually you can get online. Um, okay. I went to a couple of stores today, and I didn't see one <laughs> store had a copy, and the other store, the, the big one, didn't have. They there's supposed to be three covers. All right. The big store had multiples of the other two. They didn't have this one right here. Uh, here, let me. Uh, I think I know how to make you bigger. Let me see here. Okay. 
make sure you word that next time uh, better than making me bigger. You make the screen uh, larger. Make the okay. screen bigger, yeah, larger. Yeah, there you go, not me. <laughs> the last <laughs> book you'll ever read. I got you to laugh now. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one um, did you see this one at your shop? Um, no, I, I looked through it and I don't think they have that one. What, who, uh, who is the company or what's the company? Oh, this is, um, Nightfall. It says here, it says Nightfall. Let me see that. If I can get this into focus. It says Nightfall. Okay. Up here. So that's, let me make sure it's correct. Yep. Nightfall. Nightfall. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and Sean, is that true, Sean? What? Your, your name in high school was Sweet pa pa Sweet Paprika. Yeah, I try to be. <laughs> All right, Sean. <laughs> uh, I got that same uh, same version. Uh, nice. Okay. Hey, Bad Avenger, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hey, God Tank, how you doing, sir? Hope all is well on Texas there. I got my my uh, cam court, my <laughs> webcam all the way up here now. So I'm look, you guys are looking down at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, show yeah, show us that there, please. We, we, I want to see it now. Um, ah, man, uh, it's like uh, it's somewhere in my boxes. I don't, I don't want to. Uh, we can bury. He's going to pull that now. He knows he's going to be. <laughs> it's in my boxes somewhere, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, nice it's uh, it's kind of like a Miss Piggy there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, LCS recommended the last book uh, you'll ever read, so I picked it up. Okay. I think you might have ordered it. Did uh, you get that cover? There were three covers. There was one that was a black cover. There's one where she's reading a book. And this is the only one at this big store that has a gazillion copies of all the books. Did not have okay. this book right here. Okay. I guess because it's, you know, the late, or people, guys like the lady in red cover, I guess sometimes, you know. Usually it's right. a blonde uh, or whatever. You, okay. I'm going to check my uh, Midtown, see if I ordered it. What's it called again? Lady in Red. Is that right? Uh, hmm. Yeah. I, don't I mean, it, I it should be it. it should be available. It's not. I don't think it was sold out, as far as I know. Yeah, let me check. Actually, I don't know. Let's see here. Let me check here. The Lady in Red. Let's see if it's available. I'm sure it's available on eBay. Yeah, I, I didn't time. order that one. So I, I might book. have missed it. Another book, also. You want to? Got you on uh, YouTube that's here one too. Sound. Interesting. So I picked it up. Okay, last book you'll ever read. Ever read. It should be available. It shouldn't be. I don't, I don't think it's rare or anything. Yeah, you can get it. There's a. There, you can buy a set. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking on eBay. You know what I'm seeing? Well, it's the going last for a lot stupid church book you'll ever read. Uh, let me do this. Let me bring up. Let me just do this. I think it's called. I think the company's called Nightfall. Because right. I'm, I'm getting other books too. That's the last. I want um, to see it next time. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll show it next time, uh, Dave. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, you know what? I'm looking on here. You can buy us. Let me see here. Now, there's somebody has, has them for sale here. And options. That's the A cover. And he, so he says, your a, it says a cover out of stock. You can get B and C. You can't get the A cover. This one guy okay. has tons of stuff. That one's sold out. Um, this is funny. I thought it would be something easy to get, but now I'm seeing that it's it's uh you can, okay, you can get it, you can buy them as a set. Okay. I'm looking for that particular one particular cover, and so they're selling as a well. That's right. You can buy two copies here. People have, but yeah, find an individual comic. Nobody has one. For, no, here's one right here. This you can get her five bucks. I think it's the name, writer bucks. is. I think is I think Bun Colin Bun's one of the writers too. I think so. Oh, Colin Bun. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can get it for five bucks. There's one available here. I thought maybe it was a weird thing. We're sold out for some reason, you know, but it's, it's available. Okay. Yeah. I didn't pick it up or I didn't see it there. All right. Next book I got is, um, so this is blue flame. So this is issue number three. This is the cover B. I did order the cover a, the cover a looks nice, but, um, they didn't have it at the LCS. They only got cover B for some reason. That was my high school nickname, by the way. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Happy new topic. Hey, Jason, how you doing? From uh, from Heroes to Icon, how you doing? Hope all is well. 
Uh, Sean, here's, here's a toy. You remember, remember this toy, Sean? Sean. Was it? Stretchy. What is that? No, oh, I got that. I got this guy at the at the second hand store. I came across him. Remember, oh, yeah? Stretch, remember Stretch Armstrong? Remember that guy? Oh yeah. shit! I just broke it. Break? <laughs> I just you broke. It's all over my desk. It's all over, <laughs> it's all over my desk. Can you believe this? Look at y'all oh, show you pictures of my desk. I'm showing my desk here. It's all over my yeah, leg. All over my desk. It's all over it. Just broke over my phone. <laughs> this thing is every. Look at this. It's all. Oh, oh my god! I can't believe this. Yes, sand all live, over. Hey guys, live on my 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 Stretch Monster broke. You, you busted it? your boy. <laughs> Fortunately, I have another one. <laughs> I'd be more careful with this one, though. Yeah, don't don't bust that one. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. It's all over the place now. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, flash my night. How you doing? <laughs> so, uh, you guys just saw Rob bust his uh, stretch arm shot. <laughs> oh man! Right on, right on, live on the live stream. There you go. That should be a screenshot right there. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on that live there. <laughs> uh, oh, did you boy. guys see something about a Sorcerer Supreme Spider-Man Funko Pop? Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think um, I've seen a Sorcerer Supreme uh, Spider-Man. Funko Thanks, Pop. John. Maybe there is. Wow, all look at comics, that! All over my comics. All, it's all over stuff. here too. It's all over here. Ugh. You you busted it pretty good. <laughs> I did. That thing, that stuff flew everywhere. It flew all over the place. Look, your new nickname, Sandy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, if you stretch it too much, you can go blind, Rob. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, that's what I heard. That's what I hear. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Right. Oh, boy. You got some cleaning up to do there. You got my new slabs here, too. <laughs> uh, so, so are those new slabs? Are those new slabs? They'll, they'll be, it'll be my video later on today. <laughs> I guess, I guess right. slab, I guess slab coming tonight. It's not here yet either. Um, right. Yeah, here's his here's his um hand. Yeah, you busted it pretty good. <laughs> hey, Biggie, how you doing? Nice to stop in. Hope all is well with you. Or it's a vacuum cleaner. Goodness gracious. So, yeah, Rob just busted <laughs> his uh, stretch arm strong. Well, I'll, I'll be right back. Keep talking. I'll be right back. All right. I'll show more books. Um, <laughs> So I just picked up my uh, books from my local LCS. So this is the, uh, what is this one? Okay. Uh, this is Department of Truth. This is the cover B. Nice uh, monster cover there. I think that's probably Bigfoot or something. All right, I'm back. Looks like it's still on the Bigfoot storyline, I guess. But, uh, yeah, nice cover. This is cover B for uh, Department of Truth, issue number 11. Nice cover. Okay. Uh, saying hi to Biggie. How you doing, Biggie? Yeah, the cover looks nice, to, um, this Department of Truth. Hey, Rob, here's a uh, cover B. I like that. There we go. Got the uh, vacuum here. <laughs> All right. So you can't hear. You can't hear it, can you? Can you uh, mute? <laughs> <laughs> you I'll, mute? mute I'll mute it. I'll mute it. I'll mute it while you guys talk. All right. Okay. Uh, so they still had this one. This is Basilix um, issue number two uh, from Boom Studios. Uh, I missed out on this one, but luckily they still got this cover. This is um, cover. B. Nice cover. Yeah, the story is pretty, um, pretty gruesome looking. Stick a fork up his nose there. But uh, it's a good story so far. Not bad. Uh, Colin Bunn. I like his stuff. You know, I'm kind of horror type. Hey, Epic Prince. How you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all is well. So Rob is um, vacuuming, vacuuming up his uh, sand that he broke from uh, his Stretch Armstrong. All right, next book. Okay, so this is a new one. This one here, this is Barbaric. This is issue number two. This is, I believe, the second. Yep, this is a uh, cover B. That is a um, pretty nice cover, cover B. 
Uh, this is by who did this one? I don't know who did this one. But I also picked up the, let me call this, uh, oh, yeah. so I also picked up the poly bag one. Uh, let's open up this poly bag. So if you saw like the, um, the first poly bag, it's like a nude, uh, nude cover, but let me get a scissor here. <laughs> but it's really not that bad. It's kind of like a, Well, it's nude, but it's not like over exaggerated or over the top nude. All right, come on. So I think uh, these back and front covers, they are also prints. From the first one, it's a print, and yep, okay, not, oh no. So all you get is just a front, there's nothing on the back, so that is the front, and yeah, this is the back, so there's really, they don't have any uh, prints, not like the first, uh, not like the first issue. So this one, it just shows her, pretty much her, her but basically, yeah, I don't know if I, there, that's it. So it just shows her butt. Okay, what, let me see it again, What's that again, Sean? Let me see it. <laughs> I got it mostly cleaned up, by the way. Yeah, it just shows her butt. Okay. So Remember, this is just, not for kids, this channel's not for kids, but thanks for the flash of that, not for yeah, kids, you know? uh, Get out of here, kids. <laughs> All right, anyway, no, I got most of it cleaned up here. It's still a little bit, but I'm not worried about the rest of it. I'll get it later. But um, how embarrassing! <laughs> <laughs> but this one, I'm not sure who did this one. It looks like Christian Ward. Uh oh, Sean, you're in trouble. But um, do a comment section now. Talking about that last comic you had. All right, I see here. Oh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant when I told Rob to pound sand. <laughs> Hickson cover. Okay, nice. Okay, Hickson cover. So that's a pretty nice cover. I like the colors. Eric. It's actually um kind of like a it's a fun read. It's a um, let's trench him see how far he can go too. Uh, don't bust that one. <laughs> you gotta be having the sand all over you. <laughs> way bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um did you get that second print? Um I don't think so. I I might have missed it. Because when I look at the LCS, um, they have like uh, stacks, and I think I, I saw it and I didn't pick it up. Oh, your wife is watching. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're adults here, so we're okay. Uh, my kids are gone, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Say whatever you want to say now. <laughs> ah, my kids are gone. Uh, barbaric is great. Yeah, um, the story is actually um, pretty hilarious. Some some parts because he's like talking to the the axe and stuff, and they're like thinking he's nuts and stuff. But yeah, I like the the story. All right uh, on to DC. Um, I picked up a few from DC. Uh, Robin, this is Robin issue four. So he's actually being trained by his. Um, I believe that's his grandfather, Ra's al Ghul. So yeah, Robin's father is Ra's al Ghul. Uh, his grandfather. Oh, his grandfather. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, not bad. Art style's okay. But yeah, I like the the storyline so far. That's like one of the only DC or a couple of DC books that I've been uh, picking up. Not not too many DC books. Yeah, his name's Owen. Super chat, nice. Well, Sean, you're only how many away to once you get to you have another. Like, oh, you're you need 355 more, and then your hour, right. you'll be you'll be I'll be able to get you send you a super chat. 
please subscribe. <laughs> and also, Sean can start his own private club. I mean, private, uh, we call it um, private chat. Not private or chat. Uh, um, <laughs> no, you, you could do members club. Members, members club. club. You can do set different prices, like uh, for basic, you know, whatever okay. you want to do, all the way up to the five hundred dollar mark. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is a new one from um, DC. This is a Batman secret secret files huntress. So this is, uh, I believe, this is the cover A. Uh, they also had the cover B, but I like kind of like this one better. Hmm. And oh, I saw this one, but um, they didn't have too many of this one. Icon Rocket from Milestone DC. I think. Well, when, does, when does that come? When does that come out? When does that come out? The Icon Rocket. Uh, I believe it came out today. So I think I saw it. I'm not sure. I just see. Was there another stack book? Another Icon book came out to. Maybe that's what it was. But um. What's uh, what's the kid's name? Um, Static. Yeah, but there's another book that came out today too. I'm oh. not sure what it, I, I saw, it, but I just kind of glanced at it. I didn't really look at it, but I saw okay. it's something in Icon. So this is uh, done by David Lapham, the artist, and writer is Mariko Tanaki. Okay. David Lapham, I remember him doing Plasma from uh, Defiant Comics. Do you have those issues? Uh, I still have them, I think, uh, down in the basement somewhere. Well, I know you don't sell, you don't sell anything, so I know you have them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is an old one, um, Catwoman. Uh, they had this on the rack, issue 32, and I missed out on this. So uh, luckily they have it, and I picked it up. So it's actually a pretty nice cover of this uh, this new guy here. Okay. Yeah, Flash by Night, you're right. Icon and Rocket Cat. One we're out today. You're right. Yeah, Static Issue Two. That's that's what I thought. That's that's what I saw. I think I saw Icon. I think I saw that. I didn't see the Rocket today. I just, I, yeah, I think I saw that today too. Okay, and uh, they still had this one. This is the second print to uh, yeah. Nightwing. That's the first appearance of Heartless, I think. Eighty one, yeah. right? Eighty one. Yep. This yeah. is the second printing. By the way, love the cover too. That's a pretty cool cover. Yeah, it's a nice yeah, it's a cover. Blue with the Nightwing and the yellow with the rock. That's actually pretty cool. That kind of like a nice um, graffiti art. I think so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Might be a good spec book for you know first appearance of a cool Heart character and, and a great cover. Yep. Okay, on to looks like Marvel now. So uh, this is a new one from Amazing. This is a Amazing Fantasy uh, Kyar Andrews uh, science fiction. Yeah, I saw that one too. So he was actually on Comic King's um, live stream. Um, he had a chat with Kyar Andrews about uh, his book and stuff. So yeah, pretty much um, this is all Kyar Andrews' work. Or he's the yeah, he's the looks like the writer and artist. I like how he does the covers, but now I guess he he's doing interiors now. And not bad, pretty good. Some of the interior artwork. Nice drawing of a dragon there. It's not bad at all, actually. Yeah, his artwork is nice. Interior artwork. I hear myself. That was my phone. <laughs> but yeah, like um, some of his older stuff, like the Incredible Hulk issues, that he he did some nice covers to those. Uh, Cali Comics, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Gadgets, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all that's is me. Well. That, look at the picture. That's me. Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah, that's your um, other channel, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah, Rob has another channel. Drop Tech those like Meister. buttons. Yeah, click okay, those like buttons, guys. <laughs> Love Amazing Fantasy. Yeah, so this is kind of like a new... Uh, New series. It's only um, five issues. That's it. So, so what's oh, it about? Wow. Works nice. Dad, I gotta read. Oh, it's it's brand new. You haven't read it yet, so okay, yeah, never mind. Brand new. Just came out today. Was there a synopsis on it or, or anything or? Um, 
I think I order it from Midtown and forgot about it. Let me see. Okay, Amazing Fantasy. So it's um, experience these heroes like never before. Uh, Red Room, Black Window, Teenage Spider-Man, World War to Captain America, the most iconic versions of your favorite Marvel characters from across time and space all wake up on an island of intrigue, darkness, and an amazing fantasy. So these characters, they wake up in this new kind of like a different type of a universe, I guess. Okay, what they did was they took something, they, so they're just showing this, I guess I guess we're going to, the, are there Marvel, you know, Marvel characters, right? Yeah, Marvel characters and putting them into like this yeah, uh, a fantasy, fantasy world. Type. Yeah, the, yeah. It's, a great, it's a great way to, to put amazing fantasy. They're going to a fantasy land. Yeah, okay, I get it. Right. No worries, it's not. So, yeah, so it's saying like, are they are they dead? Are they dreaming? Or have they truly been transported to another fan, fantastical realm? So. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, well, they went to a way, fantasy. Yeah, so it's kind of like a fantasy type. Book, um, and they use the name Amazing Fantasy because no people would buy it because it's associated with Spider Man. Yeah, so that's kind of like a concept of these characters in this new type of a uh, type of fantasy universe, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, did you grab Tart? Um, What's that? I, I did. Uh, Tart was, I believe, last week, but I'm not sure if there's Tart two. I, I picked up Tart one. Uh, it's Captain America meets Dungeons and Dragons. Yep, pretty much. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay, uh, next book. So, uh, going on to Daredevil. <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah. I mean, she's still Daredevil, so she's been going on for several months now on this. Uh, well, she changed in issue 25, or, or am I wrong? 25 or 26? I forgot. I 25. So, yeah, it's been over... What Seven. almost, yeah, almost ten issues. Wow, she's Daredevil, right? For now, yeah, she's still Daredevil in here. So there's a uh, spoiler. There's a uh, Spider-Man in there too. But uh, yeah, Chips is a Darsky. I like his writing style. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a new one. This is Symbiote. Spider-Man Crossroads. That's issue one. This is a variant cover. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I saw this at Midtown. Let me see here. Who is... So Greg Land and Frank D. Armada cover artists. And then there's variants from Mike Del Mundo, Ernada Zoza, Todd Noach, and Rachel Rosenberg. So those are the, the cover artists. But I'm not sure who you, who did this one. Interesting. I don't know. Can you make out that? Uh... Yeah, it's not Jen Bartel. Somebody asked that. No, it's somebody else. Yeah. Jen Bartel has those kind of colors, but that's not her. Although right. that, that is like, a, I know that she has something similar, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's normally, um, you know, straightened up. I went a little sideways. Of course it's in yeah. the, it's in the flow there, but I don't think it's Jen Bartel, even though that is kind of like close to her style. In yeah. fact, there was, there was a, Jen, did you get the Jen Bartel Superman's came out today? Uh, no. They're very, they I wanted to get them, but they were too much. Isn't it like almost like seven bucks or something or more? Okay, I'm, the only store that had them was Third Eye in Maryland, and they had them for twenty five each. They had two ones. They had two of them. Oh wow! Okay. Saying hi, it's Tart by Scout. Yep, uh, I didn't know it came out. Yeah, it, I believe it came out last week because I ordered it from uh, Midtown. Uh, tired of Marco Cicchetto. not doing the art. Yeah, I like his art style, but it's a different guy. Who is doing it? Um, Hawthorne. Yeah, Mike Hawthorne. Yeah, it's not like Mark uh, Marco's artwork. Uh, you're right, Rob. The colors uh, make me think. Yeah, it looks like Jen Bortels, but it's not. 
So uh, this one here, this is um, Star Wars High Republic, issue number seven. This one has, I believe, uh, a new, some new characters in this issue as well. Uh, the name is, I was talking about, actually, that's, that's one of the video, comments I mentioned in my video. It was Trenari, Orlan Trenari, and Darth Crawl. Crawl, yeah. Yeah, Orlin Gennari, Orlin Gennari and Darth Crawl. Orlin Gennari is a Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight, yeah. Okay, so issue eight looks pretty nice, too. There's a really cool variant. It's a, there's oh. a really cool, there's actually a Darth Crawl cover. cover. Yeah. yeah the, okay, the, the character on your, okay, on our left, your right, the one in white, that's uh, the Jedi Knight, I believe. Uh, I thought it was a lady. I guess maybe it isn't. Um, yeah, that one. That's uh, that's the Death of Jedi Knight, Orlin Gennari. Or, yeah. Okay. And Darth, there's, there's actually a cover with Darth Crawl, but it's 100 bucks for the set. Um, I, it's, a, it's a Mike Mayhew. There's a okay. set. There's a virgin variant and a trade dress. Trade dress running about 40 bucks. And I, don't, I didn't see any, last time I checked, any of the virgin variants. So right. that's probably I'm guessing 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, they had like a that. stack stack of those books. Um, I actually picked up a Peach Momoko cover. Uh, I picked up Wolverine 14. So that's not bad. I mean, um, yeah, that's these, great. These type of uh, covers that she's been doing, just like the bust of uh, the characters. This one is actually not bad. I like this one. I like it a lot, actually. It's it's a, you know, right. And it's really nice. You're right. Compared like to the other um, other books, I like this one. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you on that one, Sean. Looks really nice. Looks really really nice. Yeah, I have been uh, picking up Wolverine, so I don't really know what it what's going on there. So that's just a cover buy. Okay, uh, Crossroads is. Uh, it sounds well, sound variant. Souza, okay. My LCS didn't get it. Okay, Lisa. What what, what didn't they, what didn't her LCS get in? Um. What the Star Wars the issue uh, High Republic number seven? Pro probably. Um, is that right, Lisa? Is it the High Republic? My only problem with Star Wars covers is uh, Disney logo. Okay. I, I, yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, Tart. Okay, she's uh, oh, talking about okay. Tart. Okay. Yeah, I had to get mine through Midtown. Okay, Peach is nice. Yeah, that's like one of the only um, Peach covers uh, that I like with all the other like type of. Bus that she's been doing the head shots. Uh, Momoko is a hit or miss. Yeah, yeah. Some of this her stuff I, I don't like. Some of the stuff is um kind of like uh she's like in a rush to finish it and it's not that great. No, uh, and, and Sean, you're right. Her stuff is is hit or miss. There's you know when she was yeah. just when she was doing just variants and she wasn't rushing, they were great. But next thing you know, when she started now she's doing multiple things now. I guess she doesn't have enough time to really, you know, I don't know. Uh, I picked up that black cat Momoko. I oh, I thought uh, it was fire. Okay, I have to check that one out. Uh, that new Venom uh, Peach coming out is god awful. <laughs> 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 All right, I gotta check that one out too. Uh, hey, Lexus dude, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all is well with you. Yeah, some of her stuff is like. Yeah, man. Hit or miss. Uh, Hit or miss, you know. Yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, okay, so this is the last book I got. Uh, they still had this one. This is um, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. This is Jabba the Hutt. So I picked this up again because it's the first appearance of her. And, yes. And uh, a couple other, I think there's another character right in here. There's a, besides her, there's a couple other characters. Yeah, it's a book, to, good book, to good ladies and gentlemen. She looks a little freaky, but you know what? We're probably going to see her because of that reason on something. You know, a, you know, when you have a 
a bounty hunter that looks like that, we're gonna definitely gonna see her. So if you see that book for cover price, I would recommend for those out there in the speculation nation. Thank you, Empire Comics, for that term. Um, I actually looked up strong. I thought about maybe changing my name to that, but somebody already has it. <laughs> uh, but no, it's 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 uh, it's probably worth getting. I think we're probably gonna see her. Yeah, she looks. Uh, yeah, she looks pretty tough. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I had to pick up another one. Uh, so that is uh, my, my haul. So I went to Target, and uh, Target had this um, Stan Lee figure. This is a pretty nice figure. So this is from Minico. It's a Minico figure with um, Iron Studios. So this okay. Is, it is kind of neat. I like that. Yeah, new at Target. So that's Stan Lee sitting in the chair there. Be nice. So it's a Minico figure and then that's the side el celsior that's pretty cool excelsior or enough said and that is the back has them in a frame so this is iron studios also i'm not sure you guys can see that reflection we see it just fine there you go created by iron studios that's yeah, cool pretty, pretty nice was it expensive uh, like forty bucks. Ooh, that's not cheap. So that's the top part, and okay, so bottom is just like that. But yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, Stan Lee figure. Oh, it is. At that price, I wish he had signed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too bad he's not here. <laughs> I know. Uh, KNL, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Uh, Lex, uh, Lexus dude, okay. Uh, he's here. KNL, hey, Johnny Funko, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all is well for you guys. Hey, Justin, Justin Ferrara, how you doing? Nice of you guys to stop in. Yeah, it's a nice figure. Yep. Yeah, too bad he's not here anymore. But uh, yeah, that is all my haul. So uh, I'm still waiting on my books. Uh, I forgot who uh, to shout out. There was a guy that um, I was going to shout out. Forget. Forgot who I was going to shout out, but uh, I'll shout out everybody here. <laughs> uh, pretty good. Uh, how are you? So, um, I'm doing okay. Yeah, doing all right. So we had to um, get some weeds out of our front yard and man that was like tiring afterwards i was like wait is this is your grass yeah like in the front yard area there's like weeds and stuff so we went out there me and my boys we went out there and uh pluck out all the weeds and stuff and man, just, just, like, just spray it I, I just spray mine just spray it because when uh, you pull them they, they still they still yeah. come back they still come back just yeah. spray it. so i forgot who uh I was going to shout out. Forgot who it was. Um, you have anything going on, Rob? Show any books, books or anything? Well, actually, my video is in the queue right now. So when we're done here, I'll, I'll probably upload them. Oh, I should, maybe I should do it tomorrow morning. I have a video I uh, I just made um, about books I picked up today and, and a couple of books I got today, too. I showed you just labs a minute ago. You'll see those in the next video. These are books I think that are really good. Uh, if you're in the comic speculation or some people say investing, you know, area, or just want some cool books or cool covers, that my next video will have a, a lot of that uh, stuff. Darling, uh, Darling Two, I believe, came out. Um, I didn't see that. I saw. I got the first issue. It, it's actually not bad. Um, it's a pretty decent read. Um, pretty much about like a people in New York and they're like drug addicts and stuff. Uh, Darling too. I, I think it might be in the, the shop, but I, well, I didn't see it. People in the chat, should I upload my video tonight or should I do it tomorrow morning? Upload it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it now, Rob. Uh, okay. Um, hmm, I forgot who it was, but all right. Mention it later, I guess. Uh, 
Never Never is my favorite in the past month. Uh, Never Never, uh, yeah, that came out a couple of weeks or last week or so. Yeah, it's actually a pretty decent read. It's different. Never, never. Twist. It's a different twist on uh, Peter Pan's. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, yeah, it's an interesting read. All right. So um, other than that, that is it. Um, oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be having an interview. I'll, I'll be doing a, another Q&A. So this is with Geek Out with Roscoe. So uh, check that out. It's, it's going to be 6 p.m. Eastern time. So it's tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, can come in and... Uh, Wait, so who again? So what, what time and who are we going to look at again? <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I'm going to have the Q&A Origins with uh, Geek Out with Roscoe. Geek uh, Out with Roscoe, right? Let me look him up here real quick. Geek Out with Roscoe. So that's uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, with Bunny Mask or a lot. Bunny Mask is actually pretty good. Yeah, Geek Out with Roscoe. So that's tomorrow's um, interview, uh, Origins, at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Is it all one word or is it separate words? Uh, it's all together. Geek out with Roscoe. Okay, I got, I, got, I got geek out of order here. That's why I was looking it up. All right, let's see here. Maybe I'll watch on this Barbaric, time. Yeah, Barbaric is um, it's hilarious, I think. Uh, it's, it's a good story, but some parts are funny. Spare parts was good. Yeah, I have the spare parts issue one. Is Roscoe with the E on the end or just... Uh, R O S K O. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm saying C O. That's why I'm not getting. I'm trying to find it, and I can't find it. That that's why. Yeah, it's uh, uh It says no results found. Oh. Okay, here we go. I found it. it. But by the way, they're all separate. It's geek. Out oh, is it? with yeah, it is. I kept, I, I thought kept, okay, they, because that's what it look. That's what's coming up on the okay. look here. And yeah, because um. Yeah, when I looked at his logo, it's like all one word put together. Okay, here we go. Yeah, no, it's all it's geek space out space with space Roscoe R S R O S K O. Yeah. Okay. Bermuda is worth a read. Have you read Bermuda, Rob? Mom was crap. Mom was kind of hard to hard to read. Never been there before. Bermuda. I want to go to uh, Bermuda. <laughs> you, have to out, you have to watch out for that triangle thing. It's supposed to be dangerous in that triangle, right? Yeah. Every plane, every plane that goes over it goes underwater. Every ship that goes over it sinks mysteriously. You know that? Right. Every plane too, I think, that dives that goes goes down too. So be careful of that be in Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Did you pick up Mom? Mom was like. Man, it's like a. I mean, it, it puts down like a male, but uh, it was puts kind down, of puts, it puts down what now? Put uh, it's kind of like um, in a way, kind of like a oh, how you say it. The demeanor of male is like put down by. This is this is a, this is a misandry, 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 misandry book. Right, you know, you know, the misogyny is bad on women. It's, it's called misandry is bad on men. I think so, it's um, I think something like that. I forget. Yeah, so I'm I'm reading it, and it's like, ah, man, I don't know. I mean, not all men are like that, but yeah. I'm waiting for the day Rob says just buy every Boom Studio comic. Say or <laughs> fire it. Yeah, I know. I may say the next video. You never know. You know, you'll know tomorrow morning though. But I put it up. <laughs> Mom acts like all oh, there are no good men. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. No good men, yeah. That's that's how kind of like mom was. I'm like, ah, eh, man. I don't know if I want to pick up issue number two. Amelia Clark uh, did trash male comics uh, fans before it came out. Uh, it came out, so I'm not <laughs> too surprised to hear it sucked. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna do too well, I think. It's this is the mom comic, right? Yeah, the mom comic. And Amelia, I mean, Amelia Clark is the is the is the writer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're trying to sell a book. I mean, you try not to, you know, put down like, uh, well, not, you know. 
I predict, <laughs> I pre I predict she's not going to do too well. Right. And she uh, looked at this. Look at the comic demo. It's a uh, pretty strong, you know, guys. So. Right. And ladies, <laughs> ladies are coming. Ladies are coming in too. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I forget about that part. But right. it, I'm, I'm saying in general. In that, general. That will fall down. It's a uh, it's majority guys who are like in the um, comic pop culture. Right. Uh, the premise according, is, uh, according to my uh, analytics, at least. With our periods. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, Emily, uh, had a bad time. <laughs> Bell dragons treat her, but treat her bad. Uh, yeah. All right, Rob. Do you have any books that you show or you want to show? Um, how was your um, weekend's uh, sale? You went to the. Oh, I'm glad Convention, you mentioned that. Right? Everything. Okay. Everything sold. I brought, I brought was it 10 box, 10 long boxes. Okay. I sold it all in two minutes. Oh, wow. Really? Really? That's pretty, pretty good. Now, now, not, only, not only that, this was, I'm glad you mentioned this is the Chud show. If you watch my last video, I talk about it. Um, it's uh, Chud stands for stands for a comic, hundreds under a dollar, not cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. The movie from the eighties. <laughs> for those who remember that movie. Um, now this, uh, okay, I, well, here, here's how here's how funny it was. Hey, I, I, I brought ten long boxes. I want to get rid of. Right. Yeah. I walk in the door. Guy goes, "How much?" I gave him a price. Gone. I went actually went back home. Got brought some more stuff in. Sold that right away too. So the, I, I bought a table. I paid for the table right away. I went yeah. home, got some more, and then so I so I was able to go around, check it out. There's some books I mentioned in my last video. Now some people think a dollar show everything for a dollar would be total junk, right? Right. Well, okay, I'm not gonna tell you everything I got because that's for the next video. There are books there that are insanely cool. Uh, that actually I I didn't get some guys. I had to actually buy it from them for almost market price. There was some stuff in there. A guy in there and at the show brought his stuff in. It must have been his collection. Right. I saw one guy. I, these are the books I didn't get. He was pulling out. You know the Frank Miller run from the from the Daredevil. He's, a, he's like he cre you remember you remember um you know Daredevil you remember the Frank Miller run yeah you know like with, with Electra and all those things yep that was in there he pulled it all out really those are actually pretty nice books they were a dollar each man all right <laughs> there, there, there are books there that I found it, it's in my, okay well I'll tell you what, it's in my last video Alien yes yeah, if you see actually Chud's not bad but the second one called chud two, bud the chud that one is bad um okay. but no as far as a comic it's called comics hundreds under a dollar that's a, a cool a, that's kind of a cool name when it's really thousands of comics but i guess they played off the old chud movie thing um now they had um i found aliens versus predator versus terminator set in there right, right. um i found a whole set it's my latest video again for a dollar a piece if you look online with what it goes for it probably, if you look in the Key collector app. It's a low print run aliens versus whatever. So anyway, it's one I wanted to read because it had it was a really cool ending on it. The the set goes for about $150, $200 for a complete set. And you, you sold it for only a buck? No, 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 no. I found I found it. I'm not, found it. No, God. No, I, that's actually that's gonna be my little PC for a while. I, I, I I've always wanted to find it. I didn't want to pay the price they were wanting. It, I didn't want to pay $150 because the number right. one goes for almost hundred bucks by itself. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. This is the stuff that I sold. I guess when people aren't watching, was all junk stuff. I pulled everything good out of it, and I just brought my stuff was crap. I mean, it wasn't crap. It was just stuff I didn't want. It was like filler books. There, there weren't any spec books in there. I'd already cleaned it out. So, because I bought a collection, I, and I pulled out most of the good stuff. Actually, some of it's still over here, actually. But um, the guy, he knew what he knew. He was buying. He bought it all. I gave him a price. He didn't even think twice. He goes, okay. So didn't negotiate either. Um, I found some. I found some other really cool books there. I picked up some books. A guy had some stuff behind his table that were more than a dollar. For, you know, he wasn't really advertising it, so I was able, it'll be in another video. My, it really, really, really good, really, really good first appearance books. That I didn't. Okay. I didn't want to pay, you know, over a thousand dollars for online. I was able to find it there for a lot, but it wasn't that bad. So you did. Uh, so you had a pretty good. 
sale then. I mean, hey, I spent over fourteen. I spent over fourteen hundred dollars that show. Well, you yeah. sold all your books, but then you spent fourteen hundred bucks. I spent more than that. I, I sold, yeah. Oh, because the, the stuff the guy had, their guy bought a collection of Star Wars. Okay. And you can imagine what was in there. It, anything that was any good was in there, and I bought almost. Are these all the old Star Wars, or is it like the 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 newer ones? Both. Both. Okay. Actually, some of, some of the books you, I think you actually have too. I was able to find there. Um, so it was a really good show. I mean, I, no, of course, like I said, whenever a new dealer a deal came in, he would get mobbed. I mean, I remember, I'll never forget. I was, I, I bought twenty copies of the High Republic one fifth print. There, it was less than a dollar piece. A buttery copy the guy had. Cause remember, everything that nothing at the show can cost more than one dollar. Anything over except you know, um, it's either a dollar down to usually a, a nickel or a dime or whatever. Um, what else? What else did I see there? I saw. You'll see, there'll be on my other videos of stuff that I, because I, I, my last video, I showed a lot of what I got, but not, not the, everything I got. Okay. And there's some really good stuff there. There, there was some insane stuff there that was for a dollar. I couldn't believe it. Um, I mean, stuff that shouldn't have been a dollar. Stuff you would see like in people's wish list books oh, or for a dollar. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so if you ever have a chud show in your area, yeah, that, that, yeah. Don't pay eBay prices exactly, Dave. UK. No, these these books were like, uh, like one, like, uh, like for example, the, the really good books I got were more than a dollar. The guy had some books. He actually, what happened was a guy was going to a show in Connecticut, and he had his stuff from that show. He's going to take. He didn't want to leave in his van, so I was able to go through it and pick out some books that were a lot more than a dollar. And then, but that, that was one thing. I haven't shown any of those books yet. That'll be it in the next video, not this one, but the next one. But the stuff I found for a dollar is in my video right now, not the one I'm putting out tomorrow morning. And it was some really, it was um the Alien vs Predator stuff. Um, I found Aven Young Avengers one, not the one, not the Kate Bishop one, but the one with it was a it was a second print sketch black and white variant with America Shy in the front for a dollar, stuff like that. You know, oh, I found yeah. um, okay. I mean, you, you, you could have found like you know like what if the one, first scar stuff like that. The guy had a lot of good stuff. People were just you know, like yeah, you know, sure, you know, yeah. there, there, there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't too much self distancing in that guy's table. The guy, everybody was mobbing him. Wow. <laughs> hey, Mark from Sleeping Comics, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hey, Mark. Oh, yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, guys, um, I'll be having the Q and A Origins with Geek Out with Roscoe at uh, six p.m. Eastern time. So check that out. I bought a set of uh, Dennis the uh, Menace Marvel comics. Hmm. How did I know about those? Oh yeah, I found one. I found that one too. I found one. I found a Dance and Menace one book in there, also. How much are those going for, Dance and Menace? I don't even not know. Not much. Anymore. It's probably a couple of bucks, I guess. It's not the first Dance and Menace. That was probably in the sixties, I guess. So, okay. but that was. But I did. I did get one. Any, any book like that, you know, a classic TV show, I, I would buy for a dollar. Nice. You know. All right. Okay. So, um, anything else you want to show, Rob, or anything? And that's uh, I, I'm, I can, I'm good. I'm good. I think I get everything. Right. Anything I show, I'll be in my next video and um, right. or no, next couple videos. All right. Know, and, and um, yeah, I'll try to pull out that uh, that naughty cover of uh, <laughs> Natural next so, time. Wait, so, wait, wait, so what, 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 what's on the cover? I'm curious now. I mean, I've heard of them, I've heard of Natural, and I know what, what it, I think I think what it is. What's the cover? Uh, cover is pretty much her, you know, straddling a pillow. Mm -hmm. Naked. <laughs> oh, really? That's it. Yeah, it's like in my box somewhere. I don't know. I gotta find it. Okay. But uh, oh, also, yeah, that's it. So there was a there was a guy at the show. Yeah. So I'm not kidding you not. He was selling Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues and Playboys, and they sold out really fast. Playboy books, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it went, like, it, went, it went like hotcakes. Okay. <laughs> good night. Um, yep. Okay. Good at God Tech. Have a great night. Uh, hope all you guys have a great night also. Uh, yeah, that is it, guys. So um, picked up this. Uh, picked up that Stan Lee Minico figure. That's a pretty nice figure. That's right, Dave. <laughs> If you guys want to watch a replay, 
you'll see me with my big accident earlier on the video, right, Sean? Yeah, uh, rewind. With, um, you guys, you guys go back. You go back. Go back to the replay. You'll see what happens when you play with your stretch Armstrong. T see this uh, toy here with the arm missing. <laughs> yeah, like the sand went all over around there. All right, guys. Um, have a great night. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, yeah, go check out uh, Rickard Comics. He's a new uh, new channel, so uh, go check him out. Uh, yeah, that's it. that's it. I'm still waiting on my midtown books to come in. Uh, I'm not sure it might come in tomorrow or Friday. Hopefully, uh, well, let us know when we we, we want yeah. to we want to see it. So, yep. So, uh, I'll do a, a live with uh, my Midtown Hall as well. All right, guys. Uh, take it easy, guys. Have a great night. Enjoy your new comic book day. All right. Have a good night, guys. All right, Sean. Bye, Rob. <laughs>